the night before the swell, I was actually fixing the jet ski because we were originally planning on towing. I tried to start the ski the night before and it never started. And I was just like, right, first mission, here we go. We woke up the next morning super early, was getting everything prepared. And I was just like, oh, I'm just gonna double check that the ski starts. I just had like a, a million things running through my head like, oh, it's going to be too big. We're going to need the ski. I've got Nathan here. I'm going to let him down. I was just looking at the wave thinking, oh, it looks so gnarly. It was totally huge, like all over the place, like probably the worst conditions I'd ever seen it. There's been a couple, eh? Hey, morning. How are you, Nathan? Hey, Marty. Nice to meet you, Ben. Dad. There's been a couple of waves, eh? It's definitely not oh, super perfect. Oh, but... <laughs> oh, wait till you see the sun. Really? Yeah. We gotta go out. I was just looking at it like I was super nervous, and then Nathan rocked up, and we just started chatting, and he was just like, "Oh, I want to paddle," and I was like. Right, okay, I was totally not thinking you were going to say that at all. I'm going to sit to the side a little bit. Let's do that. Perfect, because I don't want to go out alone. <laughs> I'm scared too. You know when I I knew it was a heavy wave. I saw Ben was nervous and maybe second guessing it, but I just knew we needed to have a session, so I gave him a little nudge. It was definitely way bigger and heavier once we got out there. The wave doubled and tripled in size once we got in the lineup. We weren't super chill. We were kind of both tripping on it. You have to find in your mind, like, am I pushing to a point where I'm just being like dumb and dangerous? Or do I see what I think I see? And like, there's a good place to get into one of these and ride one of these. And we were both kind of like that. But usually, once you get out there, you see there is kind of a way to do it, and you end up getting one or two. up riding a few waves and Ben hadn't gotten one yet. I said, don't put the blinders on and just go on anything. But when you see the one that you think is good, you gotta commit fully. My heart still beats for you. I never ended up getting a great wave, you know, I just bailed on one wave and uh, I paddled for another few, but I just couldn't quite select the ones he was getting. Even though they weren't the 
super bombs he was paddling into it. It was just amazing to watch him like select waves like that and surf that wave so good. Oh my god, kind of a rough session. Never really got a wave, I didn't get a wave. I went for a few, but I don't know, Nathan seemed to tr manage to find it and I was just like, couldn't quite find it, you know? But yeah, I paddled for one, but I was a little, I didn't quite get the chip in and then, I don't know, another session, I'll have it. I was a little out of sorts. And that was good. Even though I didn't get a good one. Yeah, you just good fun. the more time you spend on it, the more you're gonna learn the wave. Yeah, totally. And then you go back, you watch clips of the ones you paddle for, and you see like, oh, was that doable? Was that not doable? Study clips, yeah, and then you, see you go what back. You could have made. Yeah. I just loved Scotland for the exploring. You can't not love it once you're here and you see it. It's so cold, feels so far away. No one would ever think, I'm going to go to Scotland. You don't think of it as a destination, really. Once we got here, the place just feels ancient. It feels like it has magic in it. And hidden in all that is good waves. It made me feel super amazing that Nathan just messaged me on Instagram and approached me to come and surf in Scotland. Growing up on that island in Scotland where I live, I never grew up with any surfers, so it's so cool just hanging out with like all the guys that I'd be looking up to when I was younger, just watching videos and stuff, you know? Surfing with someone that surfs to that level just makes me totally stoked. That just makes me want to push my level of surfing even more and uh, hopefully make it to the stage where he's at someday. <laughs> <laughs>